which of the following is associated with the sign shown in figure so the options are iron deficiency albumin deficiency copper deficiency and zinc deficiency first of all i should tell you that here you can see the concavity okay this is the concavity which can be seen here and yes uh, our nail is there and the na uh, nail signifies a lot of systemic disease as well so uh, there are changes in the um, anatomy of nails actually so whenever there is some uh, systemic disease there are chances that the nail morphology can be changed even the anatomy can change and uh, they signify certain uh, either disease either certain uh, pathological processes either certain they can uh, show you the sign of certain deficiencies okay so if i quickly uh, take you through the uh, basic normal uh, anatomy of your nail so the normal anatomy of the nail if we see this is the nail plate this is the distal edge of your nail plate then uh, this there will be a semi circular area here and this particular area is known as the lanula and here there will be a cuticle like thing and this is known as cuticle or eponychium and then there will be a proximal nail fold that is proximal nail fold now if you see certain horizontal lines certain horizontal lines on the nail uh, plate then this particular thing is known as the buse line so this is known as the buse line and this buse line basically uh, uh, signifies some systemic disease in which uh, there is a pathological arrest in the cells of the nail matrix so cells of nail matrix are arrested in this condition and there will be slow growth of the nails in this particular uh, disease or the condition so generally uh, 0.1 mm per day is the growth rate of the nails but it can uh, reduce to 0.05 mm per day uh, or even lesser for the uh, when there is some pathological condition right so uh, this is uh, basically 0.01 mm per day for the hand nail and for toe nail it is 0.005 mm per day okay so this is buse line then there are certain concavities which are seen in the nails and these concavities make the shape as spoon shaped so you will have spoon shaped nails and these spoon shaped nails are seen in a lot of condition and this particular uh, sign is known as the coilonychia okay so this is known as the coilonychia and if we just particularly talk about the deficiency it is a, it generally occurs in the iron deficiency condition okay so that is coilonychia now if you see this particular figure here you will be seeing the nails here and here there will be convexity okay if you see here there will be convexity generally the nail bed angle is acute here okay very little angle is there but if you see here the nail bed and uh, nail bed angle will become too large okay and this is this particular phenomena the convex surface of the uh, nail plate will be seen and this particular phenomena is known as the clubbing of the nails okay now if i just uh, talk about the clubbing this is very important and uh, its causes are very important for exams so you can remember the causes of the clubbing with a mnemonic itself that is clubbing so c is going to be your cyanotic heart disease and cystic fibrosis cystic fibrosis and cyanotic heart disease then l is going to be your lung cancer or lung abscess lung cancer or lung abscess then you have u u is going to be ulcerative colitis then b is going to be benign mesothelioma and bronchic tesis both b okay benign mesothelioma and then bronchic tesis then i is going to be your infective endocarditis 
okay and then there can be idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis then we have n n is going to be your neurogenic tumor and g can be git disease or gastrointestinal disease so these are the various causes of the clubbing this is an important thing to discuss so if we go back to the question here so uh, which of the following is associated with the sign shown below and the sign is showing the concavity and the nails are spoon shaped that means the coilonychia is present and this is generally seen in the iron deficiency as already discussed 